The Last of Us Ooh. 1 and 2. Oh, man. Yeah, so uh, that is one game that I just never actually, you know, I never I never played any of them at the hype of when, obviously, Last of Us 1 came out and was getting rave reviews and people were loving it. I was just like, oh, you know, I was playing other stuff at the time and um, it, it seemed different. And because, like, I, I really enjoyed the Uncharted games from Naughty Dog. Mm-hmm. And it seemed so like so much of a departure from your traditional Uncharted game that I was like, oh, I'm gonna wait on this one. And you know, basically ten years later, <laughs> I still didn't play, you know, either the first one. Um, but I actually do own both of them, so oh wow, I think um, that would be a pretty nice story to dive into because I heard, you know people talk about the story and that's like their favorite part about the game so um i've managed to somehow avoid a ton of spoilers throughout the years good good so i feel like it's uh it's about time i actually you know play it and see what what all the hype is about especially since the show apparently is coming out soon and you know what i'm uh i'm interested you know i want to see what the show is about too so i kind of want to play the games to before the show comes out so i kind of understand more what's happening okay yeah um i i I, the last of us part one i consider probably the closest to perfection i've seen in gaming it's not you know it's not quite there you know 10 out of 10 or anything like that and uh, so far no game has reached that but uh the last of us is definitely i mean I, of course i love the front software games i played the software games tons more than last of us but when it comes to just the last of us especially with the update that they made for the ps5 i mean it is just pretty much just close to perfection and uh i couldn't recommend it more uh and the yeah, last you know, it's int- hmm? uh, no while you were uh on the topic i just wanted to mention it's interesting because i did see like a little blurb on twitter i think ig had mentioned it or something um, where they said this is, you know, Elden Ring has become the most awarded game of all time, finally dethroning The Last of Us. Mm-hmm. And that's that's actually one of the things that kind of sparked my interest even more because I hadn't realized that the, the first Last of Us game had so many awards that it actually won. Yeah. You know, because I guess I, I wasn't keeping up with the Discord uh, around the game as much. I just, I knew it was a good game based on you know just you know community you know feedback and how how much it was praised and loved but i kind of didn't really pay too much attention you know for fear of spoilers and and whatnot um but like i didn't know that it was literally the most awarded game of all time and then well now elden ring is but (laughs) still that's that's quite a crazy feat yeah, Last of Us Part Two did incredible things. Um, it, it told me, it blew me. Away. I need to play it again because it's been coming up a lot lately, and I'm like, I know I've been watching clips, and I'm like, man, I got to experience this this game again because I still don't know. I still haven't perfected the encounters. I mean, well, I've hardly perfected anything really, but it, it's I need to refine my strategy for the encounters because I haven't played on ground mode. I played the game on normal because I didn't want anything spoiled. I did the same thing. Well, no, I didn't do the same thing for Ragnarok. I played on a step, uh, a couple steps up, but, um, but yeah, The Last of Us, the game plays out. And one thing that really kind of, you know, surprises me is whenever people say, "Oh, the gameplay is so repetitive and bland. There's not a whole lot in." You know, I'm like, "What? What?" <laughs> and I think what happens is these um, these people are probably expecting some something, you know, a complexity like maybe the Devil May Cry. But the, the, how The Last of Us works, I like to, um, odd, an, uh, an odd comparison, I know, but I can I like to compare it to Super Mario Bros. 3. And you do have some tools to use, but however, what advance, what advances in Super Mario 3 are the, is the level design, not the, not the mechanics. And that's basically how The Last of Us works. They, you have some tools, yes, and you get upgrades and stuff like that, but it's never an overhaul. And the level design increases in difficulty so you have to you are constantly running into something fresh to approach on with the tools that you're given and i love that i prefer to have complex level design compared to yeah i'd rather have complex level design than complex gameplay because with complex gameplay sometimes 
it can become so complex that the developers seem to never have enough time to put into the level design. And you also got to, you want to make sure that the tools that, that are given to you does not co compromise the level design. So you basically got to design the levels in depth enough to where it will not get overpowered by the tool by the complex tools that you're given. And it's either or. I haven't really seen any video game where it's like, oh, we got complex mechanics and complex level design. I just have never seen it. And uh, you, you could argue, like, oh, well, Elden Ring gives you a lot of tools. And I'm like, well, it's kind of, with Elden Ring, it's actually, you know, one of the very few games that seems to have it balanced in a way. To wrap up Last of Us, definitely, you know, play both play both games, definitely. Hopefully you'll enjoy the first game enough to play the second one. And that, two of my favorite games of all time, uh, actually probably the best story I've ever seen in a video game. Um, I don't think Pretty any... high praise. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I've never seen a story like it. And it goes in some very challenge, you know, psychologically challenging areas. That is, it's definitely going to put you to the test because it definitely put me to the test in part two. Uh, you, you've definitely seen that it has um, a lot of people have. It's been is it has divided the fan base for the last of part two just because of how mentally challenging it was to process what's been, what was going on in the story. But you'll see what I mean. I mean, it was it was gut wrenching uh, throughout the entire Last of Us Part Two, and I, that's all I need to say before I say anything else. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. <clears throat> I'll uh, I'll uh, definitely keep an eye out for, and for some craziness. Whenever you're done with both games, definitely go back to the first game and at least try grounded mode because it's one of the best hardest. It's probably the best hardest difficulty. I've ever experienced in a video game. I personally like I like to use as less ammo as possible. That way, at the very end, you can go all ham, and it's really satisfying. Is I've never seen anything like it. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I'm always like, if I like a game, I'm usually down for like a second playthrough and try or trying a harder difficulty or something. Well, it doesn't bloat the enemy health. That's the great thing. You can still shoot them in the head and they die instantly. Uh, the thing that they, that makes it really interesting about the hardest difficulty is they remove mechanics so you got to think outside the box to solve encounters okay that's pretty cool actually you know i may um and i i know they're naughty dog uh but like one of the things i really liked about uncharted and i like i played almost all the uncharted games the only one i haven't played was um the lost uh legacy i think it's called um yeah i haven't played that one, one either yeah, that one I didn't play, but I played every other Uncharted game, and I think that that's one of the things that I really liked about them is the fact that even on crushing difficulty, you could one shot the enemies, you know, by hitting them in the head most of the time. Um, <clears throat> you know, if they're not like wearing a, a helmet or something. But yeah, I think that I like that. Um, uh, but yeah, it sounds like The Last of Us kind of evolved that concept even further. What's, what's weird cool. was is weird because I originally I, re, I actually originally refused to play The Last of Us back in 2013 because I was like oh man it's just another zombie game and then I watched Rurikon play it and I was like you know what that actually looks different I, that that doesn't look like anything I've played before and I definitely I've never regretted picking it up I think my dad actually bought it for me yeah I, I you still can't believe how old The Last of Us one is mm -hmm. what ten years now. Crazy. Uh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Ten years. Yeah, I definitely need to at least play it so I can. Uh, Do you have I the upgrade play. for PS5? I did. Like, I didn't have the Last of Us remaster, like the brand new one that just came out. That's not the one that I I have. I have the, uh, I have the PS3 one. Okay. And I also have the PS4 remaster one. All um, right. And then you know you can play it on the PS5. I, I've, I'm still debating on whether or not I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the remaster or who knows with Sony they're probably gonna just throw it on their PS Plus or whatever uh, when the show releases just to get people to sign up for PS Plus just to play it or something I don't know. Well, the but PS5 is definitely the best version in my opinion because um, I mean they're matching the graphics with Last of Us Part Two so it really it flows really well together. Okay. Uh, let's well, I guess when I when I get to them, I'll uh, I'll make a decision on whether or not I'm gonna I'm gonna get the remaster to to experience the 
the best version of the game. 